Hello, artist! I'm your host, Kelly Folsom. I am a full-time professional working artist, art instructor, author, coach, mentor, business business mentor as well, and I'm happy to be here with you today. So if you're an artist here who is just getting started, is a beginner um, on your journey, um, I hope that this is of value to you. First one I wanted to talk about is beginner's luck. One of the experiences that I had early on uh, in art school was some beginner's luck with landscape painting. <laughs> so um, we had, you know, a beginning painting, oil painting class, we had a beginning drawing class, we had a beginning sculpture class, all this stuff. Each one presented its own uh, massive frustrations, massive temper tantrums and meltdowns for me and struggles along the way. Uh, very few victories for me in those that first year at art school, I'll say. So it was towards the end of the first year of art school. And so the instructor said, we're gonna go, everybody's gonna go out, you're gonna find a, a landscape scene to paint in plein air. We had, I had never done this before. I had never painted outside before. I've never tried to pick a landscape scene from life and paint it from life in plein air like the famous French impressionists, right? Uh, first of all, it took me forever to even find anything that I thought I might be able to turn into an, a painting, but I ended up landing on this scene with, um, it was like a bridge, There were, it was actually a highway as a matter of fact. Not exactly the most picturesque scenery, but something about the shapes of the bridge and the foliage, and then there was some water, you know, little, little, the Lieutenant River, as a matter of fact, in Old Lyme, Connecticut, running underneath a bridge. And so I, I sat myself down, I was all by myself. It was so cozy and serene and beautiful there. And I just painted away on this painting and it was so peaceful and harmonious and time just seemed to disappear on this painting. Um, everything seemed to just flow and come together on this painting. And, and so before you know it, the, the time was up for, for our class time and, and we always had to bring, bring our paintings back into the room or if we were in the room, put them up on the wall in order to have critique, which was terrifying. But this painting, I wasn't terrified. This painting, like I knew it was good. I knew it was one of my best paintings and I was so happy about it, so excited about it. And so then of course I take it back into the room. Sure enough, rave reviews, everybody loves the painting. I am so excited. I thought, this is it. I found my thing. I'm gonna be a landscape artist. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do from now on because it was such a big victory. And I thought, you know, this is just, you know, naturally what I was born to do. I must just be naturally good at this, this landscape thing. So I had really built up this big fantasy in my head about it all. Um, which felt great at the moment. I thought I had found the one thing, like the, the secret key for me being a successful artist, which was painting landscape. Oh my goodness. So let me just tell you what, the next week we went out to go do another um, plein air landscape. It was kind of in like a forest type of area there. And so I was like, yes, I am ready. I am ready to have another victory. I am ready to kick this painting's ass. Let's go. You know, so I had like all this like, woo, all this ex high expectations and confidence and got out there and um, wow, no, I did not kick that painting's ass. That painting kicked my ass. It was dreadful. It was an absolute mess. I mean, completely 180 outcome result from the first attempt I had made. I got so angry and frustrated that I frisbeed the painting across the forest. I had no painting to show at critique. It, I was just so upset. 
part part of partly because I have built up like this story in my head that I thought I have found the thing, you know. So it's just a little story about beginner's luck because sometimes this is what happens as a beginner. You know, sometimes we're just looking for like this one thing that's going to all of a sudden magically turn us into this successful, talented, you know, skilled artist out of nowhere, you know. Um, so my my hopes and dreams were were dashed on that and I realized oh no actually I'm just all of this takes time all of this takes practice and hard work and you know basically like nobody nobody gets to to go to a fully formed professional artist in a matter of you know six months time okay the next um thing that I wish I knew as a beginner was um the jealousy thing um I don't know about you guys but I I, you know, I was definitely very, very jealous of some of the other students who were in my art class. Um, they had a skill set that I did not possess, and it was really aggravating and it was really frustrating. And I remember there was this one girl in particular who she could just perfectly, you know, replicate reality and it, watching her. Um, was kind of like watching like a little photocopier machine with her pencil just t -t 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 down the page and then voila this you know magical perfect um, replication of that human being was on the page I was so jealous of this girl and her skill set and it really made me feel like I was not a good enough artist I, I struggled with that anyway and so in a way I kind of looked for anything that that triggered that I'm not good enough as an artist I'm not going to be able to do this I'm not going to make it you know and so for a long time I really really struggled um, with jealousy uh, comparing myself to this person comparing my results to their results and you know I have to say there is no way that that is a winning situation for you if you're in that in that same you know emotion of jealousy now eventually over the years as I grew and I became wiser you know just with time and with practice and with effort and I finally I had to come to the place um, with this particular person that I was constantly comparing myself to I had to come to the place and realize you know um, I'm either going to choose to accept my abilities and my skill set and be the artist that I can be I don't know how good I can be you know but I've got to accept myself in whatever limitations whatever gifts as well are particular to me now at the time all I could see was the limitations right um, and I saw this other person is like having no limitations and having like having it all you know kind of thing and um, so this was as you can imagine and maybe you're experiencing it incredibly discouraging for me as a starting starting out artist and so it wasn't until I was able to really fully accept that that I was able to diffuse that jealousy that feeling of jealousy towards this person and also that only at that point could I really go all in on my own development and really accepting and embracing who I really was as an artist and stop comparing myself to other artists in the room and at that point I was able to become a better support system for those other artists in the room I was able to celebrate their gifts with them with them and not compare my gifts with their gifts right um, because when you're in jealousy you really can't contribute to anybody you're just thinking about yourself right you're thinking about what you lack you're in really scarcity mentality at that point i just wanted to share those two stories with you because they're definitely pitfalls that you know i fell into as a beginning artist and it really robbed me a lot of of a lot of my joy in the art making process and also i i feel like probably stalled some of my development falling into those traps you know of the beginner's luck you know fantasy <laughs> trap and um, also the comparing myself to others trap so i hope that this has been helpful to all of you um, let me know in the comments below what you thought about this topic today if you've experienced this or maybe how you've worked through this yourself to 
help support other artists who might be reading your comments as well. Okay, everybody, until next week, I'm wishing you all happy painting. Bye.